Okay, let's have a look at the basics of MidiVolve. Here we've got the modes, which can be ARP, RIF, transpose, through or off. Let's look at ARP first. Normal ARP controls, up, down, up and down or random. So far so normal. The length from 16 to 64 means from one to four bars. Let's put it on 16, which is one bar. The fill is how many of notes we filled in and tie we'll look at in a minute. First, let's just hit some notes on the keyboard. Get a standard 16's arpeggio. Let's try what it's like with the up down function. Random. Yeah, well you've heard it before. Let's go back to the normal up, up mode, and then mess with the Euclidean fill briefly. This is gonna have a whole tutorial for itself, but it is wicked. Basically the number of notes in the arpeggio which will be filled. If I turn it down to 13, only 13 out of the 16 notes will be filled. It tends to give some pretty interesting rhythms. Let's try the tie. Forces the notes to join onto each other. turn down the fill even more so we have less dense riffs. Only 6 out of 16 notes. Velocity, duration etc of the notes we can adjust. We'll look at that later. A look at the scale function. At the moment it's in scale and that's in E or really which is E minor. There's all the various scales, Dorian, Phrygian etc. Let's try Mixlodian for a while. Try some different notes. Quite nice. Now the note limits, normally the C minus two to G8, which is the full range of the MIDI keyboard. Sometimes one wants to constrain the notes to be within a certain limits. So say a riff like this. Okay, I only want to get notes from MIDI Evolve, which are within that range. So I'll find it and it will set it there to B1 to B3. Now it will ignore any notes outside that, or rather it will force them to be within the range. And that applies also to notes that are produced by the evolve operation, which we'll look at later. If you set note limits, you have to remember that you've done it, because otherwise it can be confusing. Generally for melodic instruments, you don't want note limits, you want to use the whole range. But for drums, which are in drum racks that only use a certain range of notes, it's worth finding the limits and setting them here. And those are the basic scale functions. Let's have a look at the other modes again. Riff mode is the most important other one. So basically just press some keys on your keyboard, one or more notes, and it will generate a riff. It will also generate variation in the map one and map two data, which you can then use to modulate stuff. With each riff, a set of varying map data is produced. I mentioned velocity, duration of these notes are also available to edit as well. So I've increased the length of that one. You can also turn notes off, move them around or add new ones by double clicking. So you've got a lot of control at the basic sequencer level. Riff mode can also be in user mode. But that's more complicated because it uses all the evolved parameters which it, we are going to look at another time. Quick looking at transpose, so on my push now, I'm going to hit different keys. Transpose is the whole riff. Back to the center. Let's go up three. transpose quite handy and then through means you can play on top without affecting MIDI Vault's basic sequence. Off does what it says on the tin, nothing coming through when it's off. Those are the basic modes of MIDI Vault.